Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Scarlet Hollow. I am the Outback Owl. I'm Chibi Noob. I'm Cece. And I'm Cozy. And we're, we're all alone in a big manor that's leaning slightly off of a cliff, but there's a cat we can talk to. Maybe we should um, go check yeah, that Maria out. Yeah, just died, but let's go talk to the cat. The cat so, knows what's up. It probably tried to eat her face. So, I guess... Yeah, the cat's probably still yeah, in the let's, kitchen. Let's go make some PB&J. You haven't had an, anything to eat all day. The only thing louder than your stomach right now are the boiled peanuts and the cracks and creaks and moans of the ancient place. <laughs> PB&J sounds exactly like what you need to take on the rest of the day. You need the kit. You head to the kitchen. You're back in the kitchen, ready to craft a beautiful peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's a daunting task, given the state of the place, but the aggressive growls of your stomach outweigh your fear of food poisoning. To get started, you'll probably need to find some peanut butter, some jelly, bread, plates, and a knife. Talk to animal. Yes, talk to animal. Yeah. Hang on, I'm looking at everything. I don't care about the rest of this. We're not here for the PB and J. We're here for. Oh for, God! It hissed at us. Fru Fru hisses as you draw near and remains firmly in place. Oh, ears back! It's not happy. You might want to talk to me, but I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Okay, Katie. Or I shall taunt you a, a second time. Offer her your boiled peanuts. In these trying times. I do not think a cat would want them. Should we? Yeah, let's let's find out about our cousin. I don't think okay. cats can have nuts. We can poison it. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell me about my cousin? This is the first time I've met her. Spare me your life story. Tabitha at least knows not to buzz on me. Okay. What about the ant? Okay. Can you tell me about Pearl Ann? I never knew her. She's dead. I don't waste my time on corpses. Gotcha. <laughs> I, this cat's not going to give you well, anything. Yeah, yes. Might as well. So, do you like living here? I despise a smirk. If you want to take the hint, I suppose I'll have to take things into my own Please hands. Please don't attack us. Ow! Fru Fru lunges at your hand and bites you hard. You back away. The betrayal. Well, that little asshole. I mean, we might as well get ourselves a sandwich after the cat bit us. Let's check the fridge. As you approach the fridge, your eyes catch a note taped to the door reading... Janie, stay out in all caps. Below it, in separate handwriting, are the words, Okie dokie. Jelly! Let's see here. You open the fridge. You already feel a deep urge to wash your hands, even though you have yet to touch anything other than the handle. Examined old takeout. Take That's a lot of butter. Just take, Just take, take the, the jelly. jelly. Oh my jelly. goodness. Jelly! You reach for one of the unopened jars of grape jelly, carefully checking its expiration date. You breathe a sigh of relief when you realize it's recent. Yay! This was either purchased specifically for you, or the jelly is one of the few things in this kitchen Tabitha actually uses. All you need now is a plate, a knife, bread, and some peanut butter. Better close this fridge and keep looking. Close. We'll examine that old takeout, which is probably a hand, later. You return to the kitchen, closing the fridge behind you. Hmm. Pantry. Peanut butter. Peanut butter and, and bread. bread. Tabitha sure and loves her trap. mac and cheese. And mouse. There's a dead mouse next to the bread. Oh, well, mouse. Can we talk to the mouse? No. Oh, it's dead. Fantastic. Let's grab some bread. Pick up one of the non-moldy loaves of bread. Great. One step closer to satisfying snack. Mm. Ooh, yeah, there are moldy loaves on the floor. Yuck. Let's grab that peanut butter. Gif. 
the king of nut butters, and only 3% of each jar is mashed up cockroaches. <laughs> the only thing you need now are a plate and a knife. Now, where to find a knife? Perhaps go grab a knife and then go see that cat again. You close the pantry door as best you can and turn back to the rest of the kitchen. Cabinets. Hmm, this cabinet must be where Tabitha keeps the dishware and, oddly enough, the utensils. Look, there's a plate and a butter knife. Grab a bowl! Grab a bowl? <laughs> Grab a plate and a butter knife. Oh, so I think the bowl would have been if we got ice cream out of the uh, fridge and started eating her ice cream. Yeah, maybe yeah. let's not mess with her like that. Yeah. This is the last ingredient you need to make your BB and J. Time to get to work. Examine shot glass hmm. and examine mug. Might as well. Yeah. Blowing Rock, North Carolina. I was blown away. Reads, I was blown away at Blowing Rock, North Carolina. So your aunt and cousin actually traveled sometimes, even if it was only a few hours from the, the estate. Maybe you can route your return trip through Bo Blowing Rock. It might be nice to see the local sites before heading home. It reads, I survived Deb's 50th. Your aunt's name was Perlene, so this wasn't from her 50th. From the few stories you've heard from your mom, Perlene, Perlan, I'm going to say her name different every time, Pearl Ann wasn't the type to have kitschy friends who gave out themed shot glasses at their birthday parties. Close the cabinet. Look back to the rest of the kitchen. Make the PB&J. Or we can check out the garden. <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore. You put all that work on. Like, yeah. Nah. We, congratulations, you can feed yourself. Cooking by the book. <laughs> Yay, we got an achievement. A job well done. All of that hassle, and it took you less than a minute to eat. The rest of the day lies in front of you. Let's check out this garden. I guess let's go see the garden. Yeah. Ooh. Goodness. This garden. Oh, that looks like a swing over a fucking hole to hell. Yep. Possibly. This garden was reclaimed by the wilderness long ago. You don't think you want to go out there after all. Are you even up to date on your tetanus shots? Return to the kitchen. We're going to get murdered out here. Close the door behind you and return to the kitchen. Well, the cat's going to murder you inside. I guess we're so. done here. Yeah. You've eaten and have a full day ahead of you. What do you want to do next? Mm. Settle into your room, investigate the forbidden wings of the estate, and might as well head to town. I mean, we could settle into the room, explore that a little bit. Check out what's going on. Now that you're finally eaten, the aches and pains of your journey have started to sink deep into your bones. You stumble up the stairs to your room, suitcase in tow, eager to unwind before you face the rest of the day. You stand at the entrance of your room. Take a nap. You've earned it. Put your spare clothes on the dresser, check the closet, look out the window. I feel like if we look out the window, we're gonna we're gonna see something spooky happen. Um, I mean, we can go in order, but not take a nap. Yeah, that might waste some time. Yeah, might as well put some clothes away. <gasps> then a possum. Drag your suitcase over to the dresser and open the <laughs> bottom drawer. A possum lurks within. It is quite quiet, but angry. Hi, buddy. Oh, we can talk to it. I am afraid. Hi, friend. I, I know it hurt you. Oh, what's your name, little guy? What are you doing in my drawer? Can you move, please? I want to put my clothes here. Can you tell me about the humans? I think we have to work up to that. Oh, offer him boiled peanuts! Can yes. people eat him? Yeah, give him the peanuts. Like the peanuts. You hold out your still-dripping bag of boiled peanuts. 
afraid death comes for Dustin. Oh. You close the drawer. You might as well leave Dustin be. Oh. You oh. open the top drawer next. It's Oops. empty. A good place is you'll find <laughs> to put your clothes. I guess we don't Let's get to talk see. to Dustin. You wonder if you'd be better off keeping your clothes on your nice clean bag, but there's no going back now. Closet. Yep. Ooh! Well, that's not spooky. Hi. Oh, no, no. You can see why your cousin said you should put your clothes in the dresser instead of this closet. There must be decades of family history stacked up in here. Bodies, too. Pick up the... That's a no, no never touch no, the doll. Do not. Never touch the doll. Leave it be. Never <laughs> touch the doll. We know what's up here. What to do next? Look out the window. Yes, let's see the spooky things that we're gonna see out the window. Ah, the perfect look at the garden that will involve some sort of scary murder thing later. You can only imagine how beautiful the garden must have been in its heyday. If you own this place, you totally get out there and have a shovel and some gardening gloves and whip it into shape. That's a lie. You go out and pull weeds, chop trees, carve topiaries, and do whatever you needed to do to return it to its former glory, and once it was all done, you'd sit by the fountain, which of course would have a little goldfish in it, and drink a floral tea while enjoying the bird song. Okay, what is this? Lily's Garden? Um, I was skips. thinking Grey Gardens myself, but... Yeah, you'd definitely do that. Just not right now. <laughs> wow. Does everyone in this family have resting bitch face? Uh, maybe. This must be an old yes. relative of yours. Very old, judging by the dates on the inscription. You've never heard of her, but you barely heard anything about your aunt co and cousin until a week ago. So that's not really a surprise. Maybe you could ask Tabitha about this Mary Bell Scarlet the next time you see her. That is, if she's actually in the mood for conversation. More than likely not. Take a nap. Something's wrong with Ugh. the bed. I don't like this angle. This, this point of view is going to be terrible for later. Something is going to happen, and it's going to be bad. Oh, yeah. You immediately collapse on the bed. And that doll yep. is coming out Whoa. of the closet. You're tired enough that being alone in a strange new place won't stop you from passing out. It's going to be bad. Go ahead. Or so you thought. You cough as a small cloud of dust rises up from the mattress. These sheets must might be fresh, but everything beneath them might have been around to see the dawn of civilization. You try to settle in, but the bed is lumpy and in strange places, and you can feel the springs pressing through the fabric. You might be tired, but you're far from tired enough to get in more than a few minutes of uncomfortable napping. Oop. Oh, I thought it was fading down to fade back up and spooky thing happening. Um, yeah. Okay, I guess we're going to go to yeah. town. Or we could go to the Forbidden Well, if we want to die real quick, we can. Maybe we should save before we go there. <laughs> Yeah. Let's save before we go to the uh, the forbidden wing of the estate. Just in case we fall f through the floorboards and are like, uh, yeah, that was bad. Sounds good. <laughs> With Tabitha gone, there's no one stopping you from going into the forbidden wing of the estate, except for all the chains. Immediately try the nearest door, only to be impeded by a lock. You're no stranger to opening locks, but this one is difficult. You'll probably need a, to swipe a key from Tabitha to make progress into the rest of the home. Might as well head to town. With your cousin gone, there's nothing for you to really do here. You drop your bags off in your room and head out to explore the town. Do, 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 do. If you'd Urban have known you... <laughs> If you'd have known you'd have wind up walking all the way back to town, you probably would have just asked Tabitha to leave you at the bus stop, especially no. with how... Whoop. Hang on, sorry. Especially with how unhappy she seemed to see she seemed to see you. If only you could wipe the slate between the two of you clean and bury some of the tension. May, though maybe her mother's funeral isn't the best time for something like that. Then again, maybe it's the perfect time. So what spooky things are we going to see soon? It's really pretty out here. It's about to not be. Ew. 
finally, you made it back to town. The holler, as the guy on the bus called it, has probably seen better days. Yeah. I'd say that. Hmm. It still has the feeling of an idyllic country town, but its sidewalks are cracked, and many of the storefronts are boarded up, their windows dusty with age. Oh, there's a bookshop right here. Mm, that's books true. On the sign. I want to go mm. in. A chill breeze sweeps down the lane and you shudder, suddenly feeling as if you are peering into a grave. Oh, look. There's a general store. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, puppy! A doggy! Oh, that doesn't sound like a good dog. Hello. <gasps> Lesbian! She's got a Mothman t-shirt! Well, who wants to be Gretchen? I will. Uh, Cheeps hasn't voiced Gretchen. anyone yet. Be Gretchen. Why, I do declare. Who is this gorgeous stranger? Why do they smell of peanut butter? There are many <laughs> reasons for that, none of which are good. <laughs> oh, Gretchen is the dog. Oh, I guess I was voicing the dog. Alright, you're the dog now. Who wants the to dog. be... Who wants to I be, the, be uh, the lady? I want to be the human too. Okay. But let Ch let Chips be the lesbian. <laughs> Sorry about that. Gretchen can be very slippery when she wants to be. She loves to get loose and have and cause havoc. Offer Gretchen your boiled peanut. <laughs> oh yeah! Why do they smell like peanut butter? It's nice to meet you, Gretchen. Pet the dog. I think explore with the, uh, you can at least explore with the boiled peanuts. Want some boiled peanuts, Gretchen? You whip out the bag and hold it in front of Gretchen. Why, why yes, of course, I most certainly do! <laughs> Aw, that's sweet of you. But those are probably way too salty for my little Gretch. Nice to meet you, Gretchen. She's a cute puppy. Mm-hmm. Look at his slobbery face. It's nice to meet you, Gretchen. I'm Shared Brain Cell. My, oh my. I can't remember the last time I met a newcomer who was so wonderfully polite. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Shared Brain Cell. Ha. <laughs> That's a funny way to introduce yourself. I'm Stella. It's not often I see a strange face in the holler. Every now and then there's a there's a new crop of coal folks, but you don't look dusty enough for that. <laughs> mm. Oh, she blushing. You aren't in town for the funeral, are you? Scarlet funeral? Street smart. Lie. What? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we should just yeah, let's introduce, introduce ourselves. ourselves. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Shared Braid. Hi, I'm Shared Braid Cell. E you must be Tabby's cousin, right? Upon mention of your cousin, Gretchen mutters under her breath, "Fucking bitch." Why, one of these days I'll get that Tabitha to pet me. Oh. <laughs> That's the only person I can think of who would come to town for the funeral. How's she holding up? To be honest, I've been a little worried about her all up in that big house. Someone's pining. I'm sorry, did you say Tabby? Yes, we must explore that. I'm sorry, did I hear you right? I can't imagine Tabitha ever going by something so bubbly. She did back when I knew her better. It's been a while. I hope she's okay. I don't know how she's doing and uh, I don't care. I am worried too. <laughs> okay, Fru Fru, get out of here. <laughs> uh worried about her too or is she always so yeah I me mean, might as well yeah one of them too i would say i'm okay. worried about her i'm worried about her too she always has been a little 
rough around the edges, but I figured she'd probably be having a rough go of things. She and her mom were really close. I think she's been up in that old mansion all by herself. It'll probably be good for her now that you're staying there, even if she doesn't think so herself. Thanks for letting me know, by the way. Hmm. How long I mean, we could ask her? I would ask if they're friends or something, because like that yeah. would probably imply the same amount of information. She's not worth your time, but I <laughs> think. Um. So, are you two friends? I go with that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you two friends? I was probably closer than most people would have gotten to being able to call her a friend. The school here is really small, so everyone had to at least get along with everyone else. She was a grade ahead of me, but everyone knew her, especially since she's a Scarlet. We wound up bonding a bit when we were both in the school's production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. I was Puck, and she was Mustard Seed. I don't remember who those two are. I mean, I know I Puck, Puck, but I don't remember Mustard Seed. Was he one of the traveling peoples? Maybe. Okay. As you might have expected, she was more than a little prickly, but managed to soften up. But I managed to soften her up a bit by the end of it. And then she graduated, and that was that. I haven't seen that girl or her horrible little cat since I was middle aged. Oh, that's rich. Middle aged. I haven't seen that girl or her horrible little cat since I was middle aged. Middle Ruff. aged. It's what does that mean? Oh, oh, Gretchen said that. Gretchen's an old dog, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, before it slips my mind, if you're staying up in that spooky old mansion, you must have met the Fru Fru. How does that monster fare? Uh, tap hmm. this cat. She's a little bitch, but we, we love met. her. I will pet her if it's the last thing I do. It sounds like you and Fru Fru have a history. <laughs> Do not ignore one. Gretchen. Gretchen, good. I wanna, I wanna ask about the history. Yeah. Sounds like you and Fru Fru have a history. Wait, what? Uh, are you messing with me? You can't actually talk to my dog, right? I'm joking. If I could actually talk to animals, do you think I'd just do that in front of people? <laughs> Alas, you have discovered my dark and terrible <laughs> secret. Cover it up! I almost kind of want to say that, but I really want her to like us. <laughs> I mean, I think, honestly, the alas, you have discovered my dark and terrible secret, like, kind of sounds like more of a joke than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would go with that one. Are you sure? We can always come back. I'm okay. I'm I'm saving. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot let the lesbian. I want fall Stella out. to like us, okay? <laughs> Alas, you've discovered. If we don't end up with her, I want to set her up with Tabitha. Okay. Uh, Alas, you discovered my dark and terrible secret. Alas, you have discovered my dark and terrible secret. I can talk to animals, and animals can talk to me. Your dog sounds like a southern belle when she talks. <laughs> yeah, of course you're joking. Okay, good. Thank God. Yeah, we weren't gonna give the whole thing away right away. You and Stella maintain silent, awkward eye contact. Well, next time you see that devil, please send my regards. And do let her know that next... That... Not only do I still draw breath, but that I very much still plan to outlive her. Oh, God. <laughs> they must have had a tussle between, or something. <laughs> between pets. Jeez. Oh, if you just got to town, you must be starving. She's asking us out. Date to the diner! I was just on my way to the diner for coffee, and they've got amazing biscuits. My treat! Oh, shit. Yeah, we're going to follow yeah. her. We're going to follow her next time. <sighs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.
Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!